Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Jess and Seb. And today we talk about the superstitions in Germany or what people in Germany believe. That is correct. In one of our last videos, we made a similar video about Singapore. What do people in Singapore believe? So without further ado, Seb, what's one superstition? So one thing that I've personally heard a lot of people say, and it happened to me too, is when you step into dog poop mm -hmm. or you become victim to bird poop, mm -hmm. people say, don't worry about it. This will mean good luck for the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. Okay. In Singapore, it's like, if you get bird poop on you, you should definitely go get the lottery because then that's a sign of good luck. But I'm not too sure about the dog poop one. Well, I think the origin is something bad already happened to you. So God and the universe have to create an equilibrium again and say, well, you stepped into poo, bad thing. So now something good has to happen to equal it out. Hmm. Another superstition that I commonly hear about and experience for myself here in Germany is that when you cheers with other people or when you toast with other people, you need to look at the person that you're toasting with in the eye. So I was like, okay, if I'm toasting with everyone, I have to be like, I look in eye, look in eye, look in eye, look in eye. And yes. that was difficult. Because what happens if you don't look that person in the eye is you have bad sex for seven years. No one wants that. That's why in Germany it's an iron rule. We are very adamant about it. Mm -hmm. If you do not look a person into the eye while toasting, they will often actually make this comment. Yes. So don't make the mistake. Look at people in the eyes. And if you're as clumsy as I am, practice makes perfect. So just continue doing it and then you get there. But uh, another superstition that actually you do it quite often as well is to knock on wood. Three times. What does that mean? It's a sign for good luck. The history of it is coming from sailors and miners mm -hmm. um, who both were reliant on the stability of the wood. So if they went ahead and knocked on the wood, they could hear a high pitch or higher sound. That meant the wood was healthy. Mm -hmm. If they heard a dark and damp sound, that would mean disaster because that wood was moldy, wet, and in no good condition. So the mine could collapse, the ship would not make the trip. So mm -hmm. if you knocked on wood, it's good luck. Exactly. Did you know in Singapore, if you, we don't knock on wood, but we have this thing that you touch wood and we always say like, choy, 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 touch wood, touch wood, touch wood. And that's to avoid something bad happening. If you, if you say something bad and then I'll be like, Touch, 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 touch. That's not gonna happen. Touch wood, touch wood. So, pretty similar, I would say. Definitely similar. What's probably not so similar is another superstition uh, that people believe in Germany is that you do not walk under a ladder. Oh. Okay. Um, that one has a bit of a weird history because it's linked to um, faith, mm -hmm. most likely Christian faith. Um, where people believe that the ladder, the wall and the ground connect together and they form this holy triangle. Okay. And if you walk through this triangle, you are basically disturbing this holy union um. and you are inviting bad spirits. So mm -hmm. walking underneath the ladder means you invite bad luck. Mm -hmm. So you guys have this kind of spiritual superstition as well. Yes. Well, nothing to worry about because no leathers in our home. Another one superstition. Well, I don't know if you would call this a superstition, but in most Western worlds, people would say, okay, you cross fingers to, you know, 
pray for like good luck but in germany it's you press your thumbs so explain yes. to me what's the difference between this and this or whatever well uh it's funny because it's not a, apparently the custom didn't come from germany itself oh. it's a custom from ancient rome mm -hmm. where gladiators were fighting in the arena mm -hmm. and hollywood made us believe that the sign for a gladiator to live is this and a gladiator to die is this okay but according to some sources it's actually that if the thumb remains in the fist the gladiator would live if the thumb gets out the gladiator dies okay so obviously you see someone and back then they saw the gladiator and they wished for them to remain alive so it's ah. a wishing of good fortune good health so that's why we as germans drücken die daumen we press the thumbs press the thumbs that's so cool and cross the fingers the germans also cross fingers mm -hmm. but only behind their back when they're telling a lie oh is it to like uncross your lie then or like yeah to undo like undo. say i actually mean the opposite uh -huh. okay so if i ever if you don't see both my hands when i'm telling you something you know what's up <laughs> Apart from pressing the thumbs, another super common like superstition is related to birthdays. And this is so ridiculous to me because in Singapore we have a whole new different story. But in Germany, you do not wish people happy birthday early. No. You can do it a day after, a week after, a month after, a year after. Just not early. <laughs> yes, so early birthday wishes, not a thing. Don't attempt it. You, oh, don't. Trust me, don't. You don't want this. Um, because the Germans have a saying that means um, don't praise the day before it actually ended. Germans are risk averse. We did a video on that. <laughs> Mentioned mm -hmm. that in another video. Um, we don't know for sure that this day will end on a good note. So until the day of my birth has actually arrived, I do not want you to wish me a happy birthday. So you don't want to jinx it, per yes. se. Okay. That's so weird because in Singapore, you celebrate like the entire month of your birthday. So if your birthday is like in the middle, you can celebrate before, you can celebrate after, it's absolutely fine. So I actually have all my birthday parties before my birthday, because if you're having your birthday on like a Monday, you will want to celebrate the weekend before. And on the Saturday or Sunday, and everyone over here will be like, are you sure you want to celebrate your birthday a day or two days before? Are you very sure? I'm like, I don't care. I'm gonna do it. I don't care. Just let me celebrate my birthday earlier. Anyway, what's the next superstition? So the next one is a little bit weird. Okay, I love weird ones. It's about symbols and symbolism. Mm -hmm. um, and that means actually we have good luck charms in germany um, and we'll just list two so for new year's eve you can find little marzipan pigs oh yes i've seen that and people gift these pigs yeah yeah, yeah. Um, because pigs are a symbol for good luck this comes from older times ancient times where pigs were also a symbol for wealth uh, fertility mm -hmm. And yeah, now they've been converted into good luck. And the second symbol I'm talking about, which might be weird to some of you, is a chimney sweep. What? It's a... Chimney sweep? Yes, it's an actual job people do. Okay. Um, they are usually black, to, uh, wear black clothes and they come to you at least once a year to clean your chimney. Okay. Um, and 
they bring good luck, especially if you touch them or you get some ash on your, on your face from them and you're super lucky. Um, why is that? Because in medieval times, if your chimney clocked up, your house was likely to burn down and you were to die, which is a very big misfortune. So yeah. you were very happy that this chimney sweep, chimney sweeper came, cleaned clean up. the chimney, and that meant you get to live another year, another... Mm -hmm. Yeah, some more. Cool. So if a chimney sweeper, you will never be out of jobs because... People are looking for you, that's in high demand. Very good. Next, we have something that can ruin your whole day. Okay. Just by getting up. And the Germans believe that if you get up with the wrong leg, your whole day is cursed. Left or right? Usually, the wrong leg is the left leg. The left leg? <laughs> yeah. Damn! I always get up with my left leg because I sleep on, on that side of the mm. bed and then I will turn to my left and then I put my left leg down first. Damn. Well, if you get up with the other leg, maybe your days will be better from now on. So we can do an experiment. Yes. Consciously put the right leg down first and see if our days are any better. We are doing this experiment and you do that and let us know if you had good luck or bad luck in the comments below. <laughs> but what other superstitions are there? One that is still living in today's wedding... Weddings. Ceremonies. I love weddings. Is breaking porcelain. Oh. E I think I heard of that before. Yeah, so especially as I said, um, when you have a wedding and it's closing to the night, then sometimes you see people smash porcelain on the ground and they really, really want to do that because the loud noise and the smashing uh -huh. and the ruckus all, all together, it will scare away bad luck and evil spirits, which means the wedding can be or, or starts on a, good it, note. on a good note with a nice future without any ill omens and stuff like that. That's good. I would do that. Yeah, and it's it's a lot of fun. And it's stress relieving. <laughs> this is like super popular these days. There's like this whole trend of like people going into these rooms and like smashing, smashing things with a bat. These are good. I would do that. For, for weddings. But, and this is our last superstition, you have to be careful what you smash. Okay. So porcelain, plates, cups Ceramic is fine. Ceramic stuff and stuff, yeah. Glass and especially mirrors, Ooh. don't do that. That's a big no-go. Okay. Um, because the superstition is the mirror is a reflection of one's of the soul of the person that looks into the mirror. So if the mirror breaks, the soul of the person also breaks into pieces and you'll be having bad luck for seven years because that's about the time the soul needs to heal. Mm -hmm. So everything else is fine. Just don't break the mirror. Don't do it. And you'll be good. And that's it. That's the superstitions that we have on our list that Germans believe in. I'm sure you know more out there. And if you do, please let us know in the comments yes. below. And as usual, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you do like this videos. And hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you're informed whenever we post a new video. And until next time, see you. Bye. bye.